Zambia is a landlocked country located in central southern Africa. Since its independence in 1964, the country's economy relied heavily on copper mining. Over the years, Zambia's economy has drifted more towards agriculture, with crop production being a major component. Maize and cassava are the major staple crops in Zambia, both used predominantly in the preparation of a thick porridge consumed almost on a daily basis, known as nsima or uwali. While maize has always been cultivated countrywide in Zambia, cassava is grown mainly in the northern Luapula, northwestern and western provinces of the country. In these parts of Zambia, cassava is in fact the mainstay of the people who have lived through several generations relying on cassava production for their livelihoods. <laughs> Recently, great distress has befallen the traditional cassava growing areas of Zambia following the arrival of a devastating viral disease called cassava brown streak disease. Cassava brown streak disease, CBST that is, can be traced as far back as 1936, where it was documented in the low altitude regions of East Africa. The disease causes a hard rot known as necrotic rot in cassava roots, and the roots being the major edible portion of the crop means that there is less yield for the farmer and compromised quality. Symptoms of CBSD affected cassava include chlorotic patches and brown streaks on stems. The chlorotic patches appear on the leaves where you have variegated green and yellow leaves. The disease in fact obtains its name from the brown streaks on the stems. In Zambia, cassava brown streak was first detected in 2018 by scientists from the Zambia Agricultural Research Institute who have worked with farmers in the traditional cassava growing areas of the country for a long time. The status ya kuishivila kwa maruwele, kumabula, then ina kushikonkolo, edio na kulitutu. Nomba, chiricha ya nguko kuishivo bubu maruwele, ifwe kumyesu mumba di kuishivili. Nga chaku tila wa ya muiva la pantwa maruwele, nga yali kumabula, yali ishivi kwa wangu. The most likely mode of spread of cassava brown streak disease into Zambia is through the exchange of diseased cassava cuttings among farmers. The disease is also typically spread through the white fly, that is Bermesia tabasi, but the lower population of this vector in the traditional cassava growing areas of Zambia points more to the fact that the rapid spread of the disease in Zambia is through the exchange of diseased cuttings among farmers. <laughs> Tolaya kubura kondere kula kukongo turete emisira tuse tubikyo naye emisira ya tolaya twala ku nishi mwa ngisho we ya mwa gwensha nishi gwensha nishi Kabi International has taken very keen interest in CBSD research because of the impact that it has on cassava production and productivity which is translating into poor small scale farmer livelihoods to this effect CAB International embarked on a survey in October 2021 to assess the impact of cassava brown streak disease on small-scale farmer livelihoods, level of awareness and coping strategies among the small-scale farmers. The survey took the form of face-to-face -face questionnaires that were administered to the cassava farmers 
in the traditional cassava growing areas of Zambia. And this was done in the northern province of Zambia in Kaputa district, Luapula province's Chienga district, and northwestern province's Kabompo district. Uteko, uguti la watu afu, mku kuata kwa isi si ntufi alatu poneshe chipo we muno Zambia. Pantu nde muna kuati ni muno Zambia. Abe ingibareli la kipari ubugu inebuwele watu ute. No buwele wafu shi shufi amataba, buwense tureli la. No mba, uteko, wala atu afu ashani, paguti fifi ntufi fipwe. Muno Muzambia, pan prefer ija sa no guri mi, nomba kai guri mi na buta ampo kutola, kumula ndua chibosha, chato tetuala sambiri chasha ni aba nanga fueba fueba itaria fe mukuri ma, na aba rumu na aba rume tatu kwe tia pa kumo kuboko, tuala chita shani, e ijoro maturedi la kubute 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 kubua fue, iso tuala chita parisi sindo. So. A team of enumerators was trained by CAB International prior to conducting a survey in the northern, northwestern and Wapula provinces of Zambia. The survey also involved gender responsive focus group discussions in addition to the questionnaire interviews that were administered in the provinces. The focus group discussion held at the agricultural district offices in Kaputa district was officiated by the District Agricultural Coordinator, Mr. Sinkamba. He spoke to the farmers, telling them about the significance of cassava brown streak disease and how we were to join hands with the farmers and the Ministry of Agriculture, the Department of Agriculture, in mitigating CBSD impacts. If we Tuli no muli mo kurusa na pandeli, e wumberi ya kubali la bo iria itua ugi samkula nda pali ugo ugafia. Ichele piri vulogoti la bi na basungu balati la jamaa pioneer. Tuala ba kwa tini fueba pioneer no mbani fueba ala bali la bo ukwa te utu sevo. Utu akweba tu inga ya tuishi bishere kwa banenzi. So ugo ugo ite utu utu aswi ketu aisa kuno. Tule tutela tina muasuko ugo itovo. No commission could have got you Murimoma Quata Wakula, Pantwich, Send Richard, if you never want to have a no no number, to Ayaka Nako, to a full of whoever they send the Pagova to Shibish, Kova and Yenefe, or put it an art to part of Wafia, named Mirimo to Kalabombanif. The youth who participated more in the field, along with their mothers, weeding the fields and ensuring that field checks are adequately done would be the go-to people when it comes to fostering control measures, rogging and other application of control measures on CBSD, including the use of biopesticides. <laughs> Interactions with the farmers also revealed the need for farmers to be sensitized on cassava brown streak disease. Farmers, in fact, expressed ignorance about the disease, and they reported that they had not received any prior information on cassava brown streak disease. If we are to Ele imbi imbi viari zaidi ya pusana koko kutini na fati ya masaa mbili viari tifia lo elatoa masaa mbili kufikolo efi efi suku fika na pabo alelo. During the farmer sensitization gathering, Mr. Suwelange Sichilima from Zari gave an introduction to CBSD, covering aspects on the origin of the disease, the symptoms, and what exacerbates its spread. This was then followed by a brief practical session where farmers in their gender groups stepped into Mr. Kabengele's field and attempted to identify cassava brown streak disease symptoms, also differentiating them with cassava mosaic disease. Uh, 
Elio wukabiri e, e filangiro fya kulanga obulwele watute ifilangiro filanga kuma bulange fi efi tuishibisho kuti kwene itute ilwele In the afternoon the farmers provided feedback on their lessons by acting out through sketches the lessons that they had learned during the morning session the farmers were still sorted in their gender groups as they did the acting and in fact competed against one another in depicting the lessons learned. The elderly male gender group carried the day with a small prize from the enumerator team because they acted out the message very, very well. <laughs> The gathering ended in an earnest appeal by one of the male farmers in attendance. He passionately urged Cab International and Zari to continue with the great work that they had started. Hey, if The sensitization radio programs were hosted by Lubuto Radio for Kaputa District and Radio Kalungwishi for Chienge District. For Kaputa District, the program featured CAB International's Dr. Chapwa Kasoma, Zambia Agricultural Research Institute's Mr. Suwilanji Chilima, and Mr. John Kabengele as guest farmer. The program addressed cassava brown streak disease symptoms, impacts of the disease on cassava production and productivity, and the effect on farmer livelihoods in the traditional cassava growing areas, as well as possible interventions. The discussion culminated into a phone-in session in which many farmers called in expressing various sentiments on the topic, ranging from appeals to the government for help on mitigation strategies to appreciation for the efforts shown by CAB International in partnership with the Zambia Agricultural Research Institute. Lelo kwa chivo kusambilila eh, ama lwele ya FOSA. Elio kare kare kwa mwachilanda, mwachilanda wa sivila nji. Kwa kaputa kwa liba mavarayati za kasava kasi nisa yeah. napsa napsa. Na tu kwa tapali bangwe ulu, na tu kwa tapali mwelu, na tu kwa tapali eh, kalila, na tu kwa tapali neine miko mkolo ya atikaya. Nga ndele muita sana. Nga ndele, ndele. <laughs> Elio na kalila nchindo. <laughs> Yeah, so farmers. farmers. problems
Among the key issues emerging from CAP International's activities in the three provinces are, firstly, the need for extensive pharma awareness on cassava brown streak disease, including identification of diseased plants, regular field checks by farmers to identify diseased plants, rogging or removal of diseased plants once spotted, limiting the exchange of planting material among farmers, and careful selection of cuttings for further propagation and cultivation of subsequent cassava fields. Secondly, the need to identify suitable germplasm for breeding of cassava brown streak disease resistant cassava. This would work best in a participatory way. Third, there are prospects for establishing disease-free cutting centers that are homegrown in these areas if farmers could get organized through their lead farmers and with support from the Ministry of Agriculture, farmers could endeavor to clean up their own land races of cassava that are adapted to their areas, begin nurseries of disease-free cuttings, and take responsibility to ensure that these contain disease-free cuttings indeed, and these are the ones to be distributed and used within each community. Apa tu abu ni siapa ni? 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 Apa tu abu ni si